Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to help you better understand the differences between an HDMI monitor extender and an HDMI splitter, because both of these products are used with your media gear, and it might get a little confusing when you'd use one versus the other. So I'd like to start with a basic understanding of what these two products do. I'll show you some connection diagrams as well to help you understand the connections you'll need to make to use these with your own equipment. And then I'll actually come back and demonstrate both products to illustrate the differences between them. So the HDMI monitor extender is a product that's designed to allow you to connect an external monitor to a laptop that doesn't provide a native HDMI connection. With laptops getting thinner and smaller, the manufacturers have eliminated a lot of the ports on the laptops, and one of the first ports to disappear was an HDMI connection. So what the HDMI monitor extender allows you to do is to plug it into any available USB-C port and then connect a single monitor to the product to extend that externally from the laptop. The thing to remember, though, is this is a one-to-one -one connection. One laptop to one monitor, so a single connection on this side. The splitter, on the other hand, will actually accept one media input and split that media stream to two monitors at the same time. So this is a single input to a dual output. This allows you to connect two monitors up to any media device and share that content across those monitors. All of these connections are local HDMI connections, which typically mean less than 10 feet for 4K media. Both of these products support 4K media. This product is the O-Ray USB-C2 HDMI, and this product is the O-Ray UHDS-102A, just for reference. Now, both of these products, again, can be used in different situations, and I'll illustrate where they're normally used in a couple of minutes, but next I'll show you the connection diagrams of how you would use these with your equipment at home, and again, then I'll come back and do the demonstration, so stay tuned for that. An HDMI monitor extender is a device that allows you to connect an external monitor to a laptop that doesn't provide a native HDMI connection. With laptops getting thinner and lighter every year, many manufacturers have eliminated this essential HDMI connection from their products. This makes connecting a larger external monitor difficult. An HDMI monitor extender solves this problem for you. It connects to any open USB-C port on your laptop and provides a full-sized HDMI connection that can be used with a larger external monitor. Another big benefit of this product is that in addition to mirroring your laptop screen, it also allows you to easily extend your desktop to this external monitor to provide even more screen real estate. You can slide documents, web pages, and other desktop items over to the external monitor for easier viewing. An HDMI monitor extender like the O-Ray USB-C2 HDMI also provides additional USB-A and USB-C ports that can be used to connect other devices to your laptop at the same time. In contrast, an HDMI splitter is a device that allows you to connect multiple display devices to the same media source. For example, if you'd like to connect two external monitors to your laptop, you would first connect the laptop to the HDMI input port of the splitter with a standard HDMI cable. You would then use two additional HDMI cables to connect each of the monitors to the output ports of the splitter. This would allow you to enjoy the content from the laptop on both of these monitors at the same time. The big difference between the HDMI splitter and the HDMI monitor extender is that this product simply duplicates the screen and does not allow you to extend your desktop to either of the connected monitors. Some of the more sophisticated models of HDMI splitters, like the O-Ray UHDS-102A, can accommodate monitors with different display resolutions and will automatically scale the media content to accommodate each of the connected monitors. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use these two products with your own equipment and to point out the differences between them. In front of me, I have the HDMI monitor extender here and the HDMI splitter here. And I'll start with the monitor extender. This product was designed to allow you to connect an external monitor up to a laptop that doesn't provide a native HDMI connection. With laptops getting smaller and thinner, manufacturers have eliminated a lot of the ports on the laptops, and one of the first ports to disappear was the HDMI connection. So in order to connect an external monitor up, you need some type of HDMI monitor extender to allow you to convert a USB-C port to an HDMI port, and that's exactly what this product is designed to do. You'll simply plug this USB-C connection into any available USB-C port and connect the monitor up to this HDMI connection here. So let me plug it into an available USB-C port here. And the minute I do that, the computer recognizes that there's an external device connected, there are no drivers required, and it's ready to go. And I can simply connect up any HDMI monitor 
through a standard HDMI connection to this port right here. It'll take a second for it to realize the resolution of the external monitor, and then it'll send the content to that monitor. Now, the thing to remember is this is a one-to-one -one relationship. You're plugging a single monitor into the laptop and extending it through an HDMI cable. The main difference between these two is this is a one-to-one, -one, this is a one-to-two. So this actually takes that HDMI signal and splits it to two monitors at the same time. This is a single connection, this is a dual connection. And now I'll show you how the splitter works. So this laptop actually has an HDMI connection on it. So what you'll do with the splitter is essentially connect up a media device to it and then connect two monitors to the output. So to do that, I'll need an HDMI cable and I'll plug that into the HDMI port on the laptop and I'll plug the other end of that into the HDMI input port on the splitter and then I can connect both of my monitors to the HDMI output ports on the splitter. Port one and port two. Now once I've made those connections, I can actually add power I've already plugged the power supply in. It's a standard barrel connection here, and that plugs into the DC input port in the splitter. Now, it's going to take a second for the splitter to realize what the resolution of the input media stream is and what the resolution of the monitors are, and it'll make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture over here. It will take a couple of seconds to do that analysis, but the minute it finishes that and it runs through its power on self-test, it'll split that same video from that single source into two monitors, and it's the same on both monitors. And again, that's the fundamental difference. This is a one-to-one -one laptop to a single monitor. This is a one-to-many. In this case, it's a one-to-two. And that's basically the difference between them. Both of these products are incredibly easy to use, but there is a fundamental difference between them, and hopefully this uh, demonstration has pointed that out to you. I hope this video is helpful in explaining the differences between an HDMI monitor extender and an HDMI splitter, because both of these products are incredibly useful for connecting your media equipment to your displays, but they operate in very different ways. An HDMI monitor extender, like the USB C2 HDMI, allows you to very easily connect an external monitor to any laptop that doesn't provide a native HDMI connection. It also has the added benefit of allowing you to expand your desktop across that second monitor, giving you additional screen real estate to open up documents or videos or PowerPoint presentations, and it just gives you a lot more room to work on your computer. The HDMI splitter, like this UHDS-102A from O-Ray, is a great way to split a signal between two different monitors externally. It allows you to have the same media content displayed on two different monitors. The added benefit here is it does auto scaling as well. So if the monitors are different resolutions or different sizes, the picture will be perfect on both of them. The big difference though, is you can actually share your desktop over here. You can't share a desktop over here. It's simply mirroring whatever content is presented at the input. Both of these products are incredibly easy to use and everything you need to get started is included with the kit. So until next time, thanks again for watching.